Hey friends! So today I went and shot for all the stuff that I need to make Christmas crack and uh, chocolate covered pretzels and basically all the goodie bags that I make for everyone in my life that I don't buy a Christmas present for. Because I'm on a budget, I only buy Christmas presents for what I call kind of the top tier people, my family and the closest of my friends. So everyone below that, I don't want to make them feel bad. And most of the time these are, aren't people that give me presents either. But I like to give them something to let them know that I appreciate them and I love having them in my life. So all of my coworkers, my neighbors get these. Um, I bring them to my mechanics because so they'll keep treating me good. And sometimes I even send these off to friends in other places. So. Uh, I do budget this in when I'm making my Christmas budget and everything that I bought today cost about $40 and I will be making goodie bags for about 50 people, maybe a couple more and I'll be making some treats for myself. So the cost comes in at well under a dollar per person. So I did do a video last year, uh, it was a Christmas collab video where I showed step by step how to make the chocolates that I do, but right now I'm just going to show you what I bought. Okay, so this is all the stuff I need to make the goodie bags. First off, let's do the actual goodie bags. I got these cute little things from the Dollar Tree. This has 30 bags in it and they say Merry Christmas and then some slightly bigger ones for some people that are a little bit more special in my life. Also there, I also got this tin. I need to pick up a couple more of these, but this one is for my boss. Um, he pays me, so he gets a tin of chocolates. <laughs> um, and I also use these if I'm sending any treats to anyone, just to keep them a little bit fresher and so they don't get crushed. That I also got at the Dollar Tree. I also got these gift tags, so I think it makes a real difference to individually label these for each person that you're giving them to. Just adds a little bit of something special, so people know you're not just like throwing, you know, put a stuff stuff together in a bag and then throw it at anyone. So I individually label them for the people and give them to them. I also got some cute little stickers which I might stick on the bags. All right, the actual stuff. I got the uh, pretzels. I love this penny sticks brand at the Dollar Tree. So I got both of these bags for a buck. At Walmart, I actually price matched the peanut butter for the Christmas crack. They were $2.50 each and I got them for $1.50 each using my Deals to Meals app because right now a lot of good candy making stuff is on sale. I also got my chocolate on sale. So, and I've learned always check your deals to meals app when you are going to the store every time. I also got Ritz on sale. They were $2.50 each. I got them for $2 each by price matching. And uh, these chocolates, I think were $2.48 and I got them for $1.88 each. And this is a really good deal on chocolates because that's 12 ounces. And I did check them against the kind, the six ounce kind that the Dollar Tree had, and with my price match, this ended up being a better deal. While I was at the Dollar Tree, I did get some peanuts, because I'll do some chocolate covered peanuts with like the leftovers, and those will actually just be for Vince, not for everybody, because um, my brother loves those. I got this squeeze bottle to do some drizzling of white chocolate over dark chocolate dip things, and some white sprinkles are always good. I also got some sugar-free chocolate chips for me since I do sugar-free stuff, so I will be able to partake in a few little things. And the main star of Christmas Crack is these giant almond parks. And I do dark chocolate and white chocolate. Uh, and those were already on sale at Walmart for $3. So all of this costs $40. It'll feed about 55 people or so and it's going to take me a couple hours to do it all. I might film some of it for you to see. So I am in the middle of one of the most tedious parts of making Christmas crack and that is putting peanut butter between Ritz's um, until you hate the sight of peanut butter. This is three boxes of Ritz so far and I've gone through one 18 ounce jar of peanut butter so far. I have at least one more box of Ritz to go. I may have to go pick up more Ritz. I think last year I did four boxes. This year I only picked up three for some reason. But the main thing that you have to know to do this effectively is you get two Ritz. Nice glob of peanut butter.
spread it out evenly, seal, and then if it's gone around to the edges because you don't want your peanut butter to get in your chocolate when you're dipping it and because um, the, the peanut butter inside the chocolate will mess up the consistency and just make sure that there isn't any peanut butter outside. Make a pile and repeat while you're watching Netflix once again until you can no longer stand the sight of peanut butter. <laughs> okay, you want to wait until your chocolate gets nice and smooth consistency like this. Really like it's just plain liquid and then I drop about three in at a time. I use the chopsticks to give it a thorough coat and then you really don't want it too thick so I also use the chopsticks to just kind of brush any of the extra off and then set it on there to dry. So you can dab it down, flip it over, scrape extra off. And whoop! And that is how I make my chocolate crack, step for step. Hey friends! So this morning I am still in my pajamas, but I am assembling the bags and boxes for my coworkers and friends. This, uh, this lovely box here is actually going to be mailed to one of my friends. And I have a couple more boxes there. Um, mostly I'm a little afraid I'm running out of chocolate and I have this whole list of people to make them for I'll figure it out so that's what I'm doing this morning I'm not gonna vlog the whole thing because I'm in my PJs but yeah he's looking pretty good in here in each one of these there are four of the Christmas crack and a whole bunch of white and dark chocolate dipped pretzels and I will label them with people's names and hand them out Wednesday so there we go. And I'm watching Orange is the New Black. Oh, look at my cheats, love. All my gifts.